learning objectives after studying this chapter you should be able to explain the concept and characteristics of business compare the distinctive features of business profession and employment classify business activities and clarify the meaning of industry and commerce state various types of industry explain the activities relating to commerce analyze the objectives of business describe the nature of business risks and their causes and discuss the basic factors to be considered while starting a business meaning of business in general sense business refers to any occupation in which people regularly engage in an activity with a view to earning profit the activity may consist of production or purchase of goods for sale or exchange of goods or supply of services to satisfy the needs of other people it is an economic activity carried out with the aim of earning profit characteristics of business activities the term business can be better understood from the features an economic activity business is considered to be an economic activity because it is undertaken with the object of earning money or livelihood and not because of love affection sympathy or any other sentimental reason production or procurement of goods and services goods are offered to consumers after they are either produced or procured by business enterprises thus every business enterprise either manufactures the goods it deals in or it acquires them from other producers to be further sold to consumers or users sale or exchange of goods and services business involves transfers or exchange of goods and services for value addition if goods are produced for self consumption and not for selling purpose it cannot be called a business activity regular dealings in goods and services business involves dealings in goods or services on a regular basis therefore one single transaction of sale or purchase does not constitute business profit earning the primary objective of business is to earn profit for this businessmen make all possible efforts to increasing the volume of sales or reducing cost uncertainty of return business should not be considered as bed of roses at every step problems and obstacles hinder the path of success one cannot expect the actual returns and investment as there is always a possibility of losses classification of business various business activities may be classified into two broad categories industry and commerce industry industry is concerned with the making or manufacturing of goods it is that constituent of production which is involved in changing the form of goods at any stage from raw material to the finished product example weaving woolen yarn into cloth thus industry imparts form utility to goods classification of industries industries are again classified into three categories primary industries secondary industries and tertiary industries extractive industries these industries extract or draw out products from natural sources extractive industries supply some basic raw materials that are mostly products of the soil important extractive industries include farming mining lumbering hunting and fishing operation genetic industries it means parentage or tertiary these industries remain engaged in breeding plants and animals for their use in further reproduction for the breeding of plants the seeds and nursery companies are typical examples of genetic industries secondary industries secondary industries are concerned with the materials which have already been produced at the primary stage for example mining of iron ore 
is a primary industry, but manufacture of steel is a secondary industry. Manufacturing industries Industries engaged in the conversion of raw materials or semi-finished products into finished products are called manufacturing industries. For example, cotton is converted onto textiles. Construction industries The activities of construction industries include erection of buildings, bridges, roads, railways, canals, etc. Their output do not consist of movable goods. It makes use of the output of the industries like brick, cement, steel, etc. Tertiary industries These are concerned with providing support services to primary and secondary industries as well as activities relating to trade. These industries provide service facilities. Examples are transportation, banking and warehousing. Commerce Commerce is the sum total of all the activities connected with the placing of the product before the ultimate consumer. It provides the necessary link between the producer and the consumer of the goods. Commerce is defined as activities involving the removal of hindrances in the process of exchange. Classification of Commerce Commerce can be classified into trade and auxiliaries to trade. Trade Trade is an essential part of commerce. It refers to sale, transfer or exchange of goods. It helps in making the goods produced available to ultimate consumers or users. Trade may be classified into two broad categories, internal and external. Internal trade Internal trade is related with the buying and selling of goods and services within the boundaries of a nation. External trade External trade is the trade between the countries. This involves the cross-border transactions between different countries. Auxiliaries to trade Activities which are meant for assisting trade are known as auxiliaries to trade. These activities are generally referred to as services because these are in the nature of facilitating the activities relating to industry and trade. Transport and communication. Transportation carries goods from producers to traders and finally to consumers. It bridges the geographical distances. It makes for speed and efficiency in exchange. Transportation provides the wheels of commerce. Banking and Finance Banks and financial institutions provide credit facility, loan, etc. to provide finance for smooth flow of business activities. Bank help the businessmen to overcome the problem of funds. Warehousing It refers the holding of goods until they are finally reached to the consumers. Goods have to be stored at every stage in process of exchange. Objectives of business Objectives are needed in every area where performance and results affect the survival and prosperity of business. Some of these areas are described below. Market standing Market standing refers to the position of an enterprise in relation to its competitors. A business enterprise must aim at standing on stronger footing in terms of offering competitive products to its customers and serving them to their satisfaction. Innovation Innovation is the introduction of new ideas or methods in the way something is done or made. No business enterprise can flourish in a competitive world without innovation. Therefore, innovation becomes an important objective. Productivity Productivity is calculated by comparing the value of outputs with the value of inputs. It is used as a measure of efficiency. Physical and financial resources Any business requires physical resources like plants, machines, offices, etc. and financial resources that is, 
funds to be able to produce and supply goods and services to its customers. Earning Profit One of the objectives of business is to earn profits on the capital employed. Profitability refers to profit in relation to capital investment. Manager Performance and Development Business enterprises need managers to conduct and coordinate business activity. Various programs for motivating managers need to be implemented. Worker Performance and Attitude Workers' performance and attitudes determine their contribution towards productivity and profitability of any enterprise. Social Responsibility Social responsibility refers to the obligation of business firms to contribute resources for solving social problems and work in a socially desirable manner. Business Risks The term business risks refers to the possibility of inadequate profits or even losses due to uncertainties or unexpected events. Business enterprises constantly face two types of risks, speculative and pure. Nature of business risks Nature of business risks can be understood in terms of their peculiar characteristics. Business risks arise due to uncertainties. Uncertainty refers to the lack of knowledge about what is going to happen in the future. Natural calamities, change in demand and prices, change in government policy, improvement in technology, etc. are some of the examples of uncertainty. Risk is an essential part of every business. Every business has some risk. No business can avoid risk, although the amount of risk may vary from business to business. Risk can be minimized but cannot be eliminated. Degree of risk depends mainly upon the nature and size of business. Nature of business and size of business are the main factors which determine the amount of risk in a business. For example, a business dealing in fashionable items has a high degree of risk. Similarly, a large-scale business has a higher risk than what a small scale has. Profit is the reward for risk-taking. No risk, no gain is an age-old principle which applies to all types of business. Greater the risk involved in a business, higher is the chance of profit. An entrepreneur undertakes risks under the expectation of high profit. Causes of Business Risks Business risk arise due to a variety of causes, which are classified as natural causes, human causes, economic and other reasons. Starting a Business Basic Factors Starting a business enterprise is similar to any other human effort in which resources are employed to achieve certain objectives. There are some of the basic factors which must be considered by anybody who is to start the business are as follows. Selection of line of business Size of the firm Choice of form of ownership Location of business enterprise Financing the proposition Physical facilities Selection of line of business The first thing to be decided by an entrepreneur of any new business is the nature and type of business to be undertaken. Size of the firm Size of the firm or scale of its operation is another important decision to be taken at the start of the business. Choice of form of ownership With respect to ownership, the business organization may take the form of a sale proprietorship, partnership or a joint stock company. Location of business enterprise An important factor to be considered at the start of the business is the place where the enterprise will be located. Financing the proposition Financing is concerned with providing the necessary capital for starting as well as 
for continuing the proposed business. Physical facilities Availability of physical facilities including machines and equipment, building and supportive services is very important. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Business may be defined as an economic activity involving the production and sale of goods and services undertaken with the motive of earning a profit by satisfying human needs in society. It has distinguished characteristics. An economic activity, production or procurement of goods and services, sale or exchange of goods and services for the satisfaction of human needs, dealings in goods and services on a regular basis, profit earning, the uncertainty of return and an element of risk. Business activities may be classified into broad categories. Industry and Commerce Industry refers to economic activities which are connected with the conversion of resources into useful goods. Industries may be primary, secondary or tertiary. Although earning of profit is considered to be the primary objective. Objectives are needed in every area where performance results affect the survival and prosperity of business. The term risk refers to the possibility of inadequate profits or even losses due to uncertainties or unexpected events. Some of the basic factors which must be considered by anybody who is stating a business are selection of line of business, size of the firm, choice of form of ownership, location of business enterprise, financing the proposition, physical facilities, plan layout competent, and committed workforce, tax planning, and launching the enterprise.